you need to, guys. Okay, so you might want to take the kids out of the room. You might not. Just depends on how you guys roll at your house. A um, lot of veterans here, a lot of active, du active duty here, and coming home from a war zone is never easy in the first place, and it can have many side effects. This includes a tough time in the bedroom for a lot of people. So here to explain, Dr. Erwin Goldstein from San Diego um, Sexual Medicine Alvarado Hospital. But you may not know this, but Dr. Goldstein is also at the VA. Right. Yes. You spend a day a week at the VA, right? Thank you for that. No, thank you. Because I swear this VA has the best doctors. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if people can get into it like, you know, like it, on a regular good, you know, I need to be there tomorrow. But boy, we have some good doctors there. Okay, so some new research is now available about veterans. What's the story? So April 2016, a paper came out, so it's brand new. Okay. It's called Valor, V-A-L-O-R, Veterans After Discharge Longitudinal Registry. So they took men and women from Iraq and Afghanistan and followed them in a registry. Um, well, over 1,600 uh, men and women in the trial. Two million people have served in Iraq and Afghanistan okay. this far. It's a lot of people. Yeah. So in the trial, they, they asked the question, how many of you have PTSD? And if you had PTSD or did not have PTSD, did that influence your sexual health? Okay. So in the study, they found um, amazing, 62% of the people in Valor had symptoms consistent with PTSD. That's, wow. that's two-thirds. What are your thoughts on that? So, well, it, it happens from exposure to the warfare, yeah. but it also happens from exposure to sexual trauma. The women weren't really warfare-based PTSD, but sexual trauma. This is <sighs> sexual assault by their own colleagues, by the way. So uh, th Terrible. That's, that's a horrible problem, but right. they have the PTSD nonetheless. So are, how, how is that working out for them at home, and how does this study help them with information? Okay, so it's a great question. So, so in essence, when people join up, they're usually younger people. They're at the height of their sexual lives. They're interested. They're, they're, yeah. They have uh, good function. Yeah. Uh, but when they get back, and especially if they have PTSD, the study showed three key findings. First, that... The, the men and women who are in Valor, this re registry, have a higher chance of having a diagnosis of a sexual problem. Men Pro and women. Men and women. So men typically erectile dysfunction and women typically pain during sexual activity and loss of interest, not okay. wanting to but want it's to But it's not the other side where they go out and have like multiple, multiple sex partners and it's not usually that, that way, it's usually the depression side. Yeah, it may have been prior to but exposure, not now. but certainly not. Well, now. this is interesting because so much of the depression, you know, the opposite of depression is expression and sexually with humans, I mean, it's one of our basic ways to express ourselves to our loved ones, you know, I mean, this is kind of a huge deal. What can people do? I so love working with you. You're so you're so smart about all this stuff. Oh, I love this, this stuff, stuff, man. It's, it's it's just I don't know why people have a hard time talking about it. It's, it's, we have I mean, to respect great. people's sexual health in general, and and physicians who are treating men and women with PTSD, in particular the veterans, particularly in San Diego, um, don't really give a lot of attention to the sexual health. And I think this study will reflect that it's important to do that. Yeah. And you have an event coming up. Shall I tell you all about it? Uh, it is this tonight? It, no, it's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? 6 p.m. Okay. Sex in Our City, Alvarado Hospital. That's our free community lecture. We have 80 people registered already. Okay. So if you're going to Good come, please register. It's really a fabulous evening. Good for you. Raul, that wraps it up for us in here. Let's go outside now with you.